Hi everybody, it's Neil Walters. I'm still with us. I uh, I have my uh, hip surgery, hip replacement on Tuesday. And that's one of the things I have a problem with Townstar is that you have to start pretty much Tuesday, whatever, whatever time zone you're in. And if you're, fortunately I live in the US and we start about noon or 11, depending on the time of the year, daylight savings time. But you know, if you're in another part of the world, you have to start at 8 p.m. or something like that. You have to stay up all night to really place in this game. So I think they really need to have more of this offline concept where you can start when you want. You can play, say, 40 or 50, 60 hours, and then it's over. And that way you can choose when you play. We're also being plagued by these circle T errors that the, the servers go down and you if you don't refresh your screen, you could be uh, like half of the night, like last night. I don't know how long my town wasn't running, and we're just kind of getting sick of all that stuff. So this is my current town, and I basically tweaked it yesterday. Uh, I knew I had enough cash. So earlier in the game, I was making a baguettes, which is my new rush, and I just left my baguettes in there through, uh, I guess, Thursday morning. And then I decided, okay, now I'm, I, I did my math and I, I could see the game is ending, I think, today instead of tomorrow, like normal. And so I could see I had enough, yeah, four hours left up here. So I saw that I had more than enough money. So I should have done that actually even earlier. Uh, I just didn't even really think about it. But uh, I'll show you my, my numbers. Uh, I just, since I, uh, what do you call it, the circle T thing, well, there's almost 60. So my counters are just now starting to sync up because, you know, when you start the game, the, the counters take an hour to really kind of get close to what they're, they should be to be accurate. And you can see basically I just have, I mean, it's a, it's a normal uniform sort of build, right? You have tons of fabric plants, tons of ATVs. And I, I think I only had four farm tractors because really all you have is cotton that you're harvesting. Uh, quite a few log houses or loggers because you have uh, a lot of wood necessities in this game. And then down here, this was my, my two woods. This is my NFT wood storage. And you can see right now it's got no wood in it. And then this has 16 lumber. What I would do sometimes, I have three lumber mills and I would sometimes like shut one off so that it kind of balances there. But it's, it's impossible to just keep shutting it on and off all the time like that. I'm not really sure I'm perfectly balanced. Like I said, I didn't, maybe I didn't care as much this week, but literally I got out of my surgery and when I got in my room, I think it was uh, three or four 15 on Tuesday, I started playing and uh, hip surgery is not as bad as you might think. I'm going to do some more videos on that. Um, but I stayed in the hospital one night and came home the next day about noon. And so, you know, there were times where the PC was not on because I was moving and transferring. I was also on the hospital's internet, which was not too fast. I had to set my laptop at night so that uh, when I closed my lid, the game hopefully didn't stop, but I think it still did stop. So my placement this week is really poor. Um, even with all that, I'm 1654 right now. So it's not, I'm not sure that's even any prize whatsoever. But anyway, I gave it the college try, as they say. And I think I'll make the rest of the video just kind of a summary of the screenshots of how I got here. I ended up buying these two uh, special sheet pens, uh, the, the ones that go fast. And that gave me this, uh, if I bought it in the first 24 hours, it gave me this uh, big trough, feed, this big feed trough that holds 15. So I'm not sure that was worth it or not, but I tried it. And anything else interesting here? I'm using my underground storage here. Really, all it has in there now is cotton. I've got some leftover junk like sugar cane from earlier in the game when I had to make some sugar for my baguettes and butter and stuff. My storehouse right now only has wool in it. I think I flushed it at one point just to get all that other stuff out of there. And okay, let's look at the screenshots. Okay, so this is how I started. This was on June 6th. Uh, you can see it was actually my first screen. Actually, no, here's one thing I screwed up to. I forget what I did. I think I deleted something and I ended up doing abandon my town. And then it didn't abandon it right away. And then I kept building my town. And then later I backed out of my town and went back into my town. And then it started all over. 
So it seems like I lost 30 minutes there as well. Um, so here, at least, I'm starting off with my three milk cows just to start selling some milk as fast as I can. Got to have uh, lumber to, to feed them, the wood. Well, not feed them, but, you know, they need lumber. And then a couple ranch hands there. And that was my beginning part of the game. And then here I added some trees, I guess, because since we're in the plains, you don't have a lot of trees. So you have to have some trees to be able to get your wood. And then here I'm already starting to build my refinery plant down here in this corner. I decided not to use the, uh, the oil spill here since I have the NFT that gives me oil anyway. And as usual, I put my Tesla coil here and I start getting batteries stored up in my warehouse. And I've added these windmills about three or four apart so that I can start making uh, what I need for butter. And I put my, this is, I have three NFTs you'll see over here. This is the first one, which is just butter. I don't put them all on at once because they all cost wages. So I figure I'll, I think I try to make one butter first, get the 200 and some thousand for that and then go to baguettes from that, okay? So that's my second setup. This is kind of rotated a little. So you can see I've got uh, some buildings on the left there. Uh, I built my lumber mill and lumber yard here so I can start being able to pave my roads. Uh, oh, salt, I'm building salt and sugar now. So that's what's going into the the windmills and the salt I'm using my NFT that the zone three I think that gives me saltiness and I didn't put my salt fields in the optimal position so I went out, went ahead and later I added all four of the zones uh, mazes to the game again those are NFTs and that doubles the power of the saltiness so that way I didn't have to move them all around that's one thing I did now here so you can see this time was yeah, see, it was already 7.52 p.m. So you can tell it wasn't a fast day for me. Uh, 7.52 p.m., I've got my first refinery and power plant being built down here. I'm using the solar panel to give a little extra juice or power to the windmill. I'm not windmill, the lumber mill. Uh, this is my builder, fast builder building here. Helps build things faster. Using the large dairy storage here, which is an FT that we won a while back. And now I put down, I moved the, uh, the animals over to this side. So I have crops over here, animals over here. So I have the three NFT milk barns and the two sheep barns first. Because I figured they'll get the most bang for the buck. And right now they're all just feeding off the meadows. Uh, eventually here you see I'm using my wheat stand to get free wheat for this windmill. I don't have to plant. Well, later I did plant wheat, I guess. But, uh, here I'm using sugar mill to get sugar, at least two out of three sugar for that one. And I've added more windmills. So I think that's pretty much all the windmills I could fit on there that, without turning them red. And why did I zoom in on this? I think it's a case where I got stuck and I had to back out of the town just to remind myself that that, this was, that was another type of bug that you can get. Okay, so now you see on the left side here, I have all three of these items going. And so that's again, my rush. And now I'm making a million dollars basically every time I sell baguettes. And uh, that the, what do you call it? This week, the, the meta, the prizes were low. When we have more stars, we have less cash when you sell uniforms. So I was afraid I might not have enough cash if I just did uniforms by themselves. I never really did the math on it, but so that's why I decided to go ahead and build the, the uh, baguettes for as long as I could. And now here I've got my first three fabric plants. I went ahead and built another power plant right here. And there's the fabric plant over here starting to fill those in nicely. Uh, I went with two lumber yards for a while because more lumber needed this week for all this stuff. And then later, it turns out I only needed one. And now you can see slight better, slightly better angle here. Again, the three NFTs making, one's making butter, one's making dough, one's making baguettes. And still no more 
sheep pens or anything. Oh, there's one sheep pen there. So I guess I'm slowly starting to add some sheep pens now. You can see my salt and my underground storage here a little bit better. These are those zones. You see there's four of them laying around on there. The ma mazes, zones one through four. And now we have four fabric plants over here, four fabric plants here, one being built. It's just a matter of just keep adding and adding them as fast as you can. And let's see, let's go back. Okay, this is apparently when I went to bed the first night. So, you know, again, I was in the hospital, so I, I wasn't pushing to stay up all night and, and try to uh, build the perfect town. Otherwise, you know, if it was a normal Tuesday, I might have stayed up later. Or I would have got an earlier start in the game. It was a fairly easy build but I had a late start, you know. So this is the next morning that you see here. We just went over that one. This is about noon, uh, 30 minutes after noon on Wednesday. I think this is probably right before I went home, before I got discharged. So using all my water towers here to give water to these guys. I think I moved a few things around here. to. Now, I, I did have to use a few ponds, even with all my... Uh, my water towers, I had to have quite a few ponds because a lot of things needed water here. For separation, uh, you know, everything, ca this causes pollution. I ended up using this sphere or what's it called, orb sphere or something to prevent pollution from this power plant here from affecting the trees. And I ended up moving that a couple of times later. Really, and that was my leaderboard position then. See, I've come up about a hundred. So once I regeared my town, I did. I mean, a thousand. I moved up from the seventeen hundreds to this to about sixteen fifty. So um, that's because I finally got rid of my baguettes over here. Because once I once I got rid of my baguettes, I got I could get rid of all these crops. I could get rid of the windmills. I mean, I freed up a lot of spaces, right? So then I could really focus more on uniforms. So I'm going the wrong direction. I guess I'm still a little whacked out here. And here I just wanted to give a close up on these crops, mostly cotton. Uh, I still had wheat going here for some reason. So I still must have the baguettes at this point. And then, of course, you get, that was an old one. That was from last year. So now we're back to the live town. I ended up having a lot of, uh, once I got rid of this windmill here, I put a bunch of uh, grain mills what are they called? Grain feeders, feed mills here. And the only problem is there's a lot of distance they had to go to get them over here to the uh, sheep. And see, I got rid of the milk too. I, once I um, once I got rid of the baguettes, I no longer needed milk for the butter. So everything became sheep pens at that point. Everything became cotton, a lot simpler, basically. And this also provided a buffer for the uh, pollution over here because the Wheat stand and the feed mills are not affected by pollution. And that way these guys were up here in this little section. There probably was a little pollution up here on these crops, but I, I had more than enough cotton. I didn't really catch where I, where I was watering so much. I, I probably needed another pond or two, but like I said, it was kind of like I don't care so much because I was in the 1700s anyway. And I, I just tried to keep my game going and see what I could do this week. Let's see anything else here. Oh, let's check the stats now. So yeah, I'm getting, see, now I'm getting 70 uniforms per hour. So not great, but uh, I don't know. I don't know how great it is. I don't know what everybody else did this week. There was, there was another bug here. Okay, now it's working, but sometimes the wool yarn was not showing, it was showing zero per hour over here in the performance monitor, production monitor. Uh, I did report that to them. I don't know if they fixed it or it just was randomly happening. Sometimes it happens, sometimes it didn't. So anyway, that was my game this week. Um, probably the most unusual game I had because of my surgery. <laughs> but anyhow, I'm doing okay. 
I uh, had some friends staying overnight with me and uh, getting around on my walker and looking forward to getting, uh, getting my life back here with a better hip. So I'll see you next time on the next video.